Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just filmed this crazy eyeshadow look. I just felt like playing with it because I saw my robe and I was like, that could be a cool like Instagram picture, but I needed to do an updated foundation routine for you guys and an updated brow routine um, because I haven't done one in like two years. So that's kind of what I did today. So yeah, it's just kind of my updated everyday foundation routine even though I definitely don't wear makeup every day um and my updated brow routine since I've been growing them out and yeah pretty fun so if you guys want to see how I got this look then just go ahead and keep watching what is up you guys it's a beautiful day to avoid doing homework so I'm gonna do my makeup instead. It's a beautiful day outside, so I thought that I would open the window and do some sort of makeup. Excuse this huge monstrosity on my cheek, but yeah. Um, I was feeling inspired. I looked on Instagram and I saw a really cool um, eyeliner. And I have this thing from Revlon. So I thought that I would try to like do something cool and like match my robe and get a cool picture for Instagram or something. <sighs> really, I'm just avoiding doing my homework and I really shouldn't because it's all due tomorrow and it's midterms week, but like it's fine. I honestly, comment down below if you guys feel this way. I really feel that I honestly work better under pressure. So that's why I procrastinate because if I have too much time to do something, I just, I can't feel inspired, I just, I just can't do it. It like, I guess I just procrastinate. I'm just lying to myself, <laughs> let's be honest. I just wanna have as much free time as possible. But I like that I work faster when I have procrastinated because then, you know, it makes me work harder. So I guess that's kind of fun. And that's my reasoning for doing it. Anyways, I'm just going in with some BB cream I feel like this kind of look with the graphic liner looks better with natural skin. So I want to keep it pretty natural. It was when I was on a photo shoot and I was just like, I asked this girl to bring her own foundation because I usually do because I can't afford to like buy 50 different shades of foundation for like freelance stuff. And so she brought hers and I put it on and it made her skin look so pretty but like still very natural. And I was like, that's what I've like been wanting. What foundation is this? And it was this one. And I really like it. So now I'm gonna go in with some tint. This one's the GoGo tint from Benefit. My favorite of all time is this shade, Lolly tint. And I'm pretty much almost out. I'm to the point where I'm saving it for like special occasions. <laughs> Cause I, it's my favorite product of all time and it's discontinued and I am so bummed about it. I can't find it anywhere. If you guys can like figure out a place to find it, please let me know. Cause I just, I at this point I'm willing to pay anything. I've been really digging like French makeup. I follow a lot of French girls on Instagram and I just think it's so beautiful how they do their makeup. It's always very, natural but oh he flew right back out perfect did you guys see that bug <laughs> anyways back to french girls i love how they do their makeup it's just so natural and pretty but still very kind of colorful which i really like they don't shy away from color you know they'll wear like a fully natural face with a red lip and i think it just looks so striking and pretty and then i'm just gonna line my lips a little on my eyeliner I could not find it last video this is one of my favorite eyeliners it's super dark it's from L'Oreal in the shade plum but I really like how it looks blended out I just like to take this um, Glossier blush and use that it's like kind of a lip stain I know I do two stains it's just like absurd but that original stain like really actually absorbs into your skin where this is just kind of like a topper this doesn't stain like sometimes when i wash my face that um benetton like stays on which i kind of looky like 
makes me feel pretty after I wash my face. This is how it looks like blended out, a little crazy, but I kind of like that powdered lip look. My mirror's on my lap. My eyebrows are absurd looking. I'm growing them out. <sighs> okay, anyways, moving on. I'm just gonna take whatever concealer's left or foundation's left on my beauty blender and kind of blend out my eye and then I'm gonna set it. That's the only part of my face I set because my skin's so dry. I don't know what's going on. Why well, it's so dry recently, but whatever. Now I'm just gonna go in with my bronzer from Bare Minerals in the shade Fair to Light. I really love this bronzer like so much. I don't know what I'll do if this goes out of stock because one time I remember I wanted to try a new bronzer, so I got a couple and I was like, I'm just tired of that one. Like, I feel like could find something better and that was wrong there's nothing better although I do really like one specific bronzer from Too Faced but it comes in a kit so you have to buy the whole like contour pack where I and I only like the one shade so that's irritating and I always just take it down my neck um, because I wear a lot of sunscreen, which I didn't put on today. Anyways, I'm not going outside, it's fine. But um, normally I put on sunscreen, so my face is generally a lot paler than the rest of me. So sometimes I even self-tan my face because I just feel like it needs to catch up with the rest of my body. But yeah. Bronzer's done. Now, I guess we'll start on eyes. So I have this little teeny brush. It's still blue because the blue eyeshadow stained it, but I'm gonna mix these two colors together, I think, because the light is, mm, that's pretty good, actually. I don't know why it looks so different in the bottle. So I'm gonna probably have to do voiceover because this guy's drilling the fence. But anyways, I'm just gonna do some kind of graphic liner and wing it because I feel like playing with my makeup. I hate that. I'm starting over. I didn't like that, so I'm starting over. I think I'm just gonna do my whole eyelid. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the darker purple just a little bit and put that, like blend it in a little, just to make it a little more purple. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do my brows. So I use the So I use, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, in the shade Taupe. And all I really do is just kind of like try to make this a bit more straight. That's literally all I do. <laughs> and then I just fill in like any sparse areas as well.
Okay, so I like do it really bad at first and then I go and clean it up. So as you can see, they look super thick and insane, but we're gonna fix that kind of. So I just take some, I think today I'm just gonna take foundation. I'm gonna take my Too Faced one because I don't really want it to look that heavy. And we're just gonna take like a little brush. I'm gonna just clean it up. same thing. I just sort of blend the line with my finger. Like so. So now, since I did put foundation on today, I'm just gonna add a little bit of freck um, because my freckles are hidden a little bit and I want them to pop a bit more. Um, if you guys are interested in this product, I do so happen to have a code. It's daisy10 for 10% off at checkout. So I just think that looks my skin look a bit more radiant and fun. Do you guys think I should do eyeliner? I might do like a thin line. I'm gonna just do a really thin line and I'm not even gonna wing it just to kind of get rid of the purple stuck in my lash line. Okay, I'm just gonna do it like that. And I'm just gonna take my favorite mascara. This one's also from Bare Minerals. I really like Bare Minerals. I just like how, I don't know. They just kind of have like their formulations really down. But I hate their eyeshadows because they're way too messy. Now I'm just gonna clean up any mistakes that I made with them. All right, and then the last two steps we are down to. I'm just gonna take, I think today I just wanna go for a completely clear gloss. I'm gonna use this one from Chanel. It has like a long lasting lipstick on one end, but then it has just like a clear gloss on the other end. This would be really cool, glossy, but I'm not gonna do that because it's, I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and that's uncomfortable. Um, and then the last step, I think I'm gonna do some contacts for fun. I also have a code. Um, these are from TTDI. I think I used them in my last video. I just really have been like loving using contacts recently. I just think contacts are such a fun way to like change up your look. So that's why I've been liking using them. But I'm gonna use the light green ones that I have that make my eyes look like insane. Okay, yeah. So just blink a couple times and then they'll settle themselves. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I definitely can. I like these ones for, um, for golden hour because it makes my eyes look extra green. My eyes are pretty green, but this just gives them like that little extra, you know? All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video, which is every Tuesday and Friday at six o'clock. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.